I like to warn my students who take especially 20th century European history that by spring break, <laughs> our faith in humanity might be a little rattled because at that stage we have done the First World War, the Depression, coming to power of Bolshevism. We've done the Second World War, fascism, the Holocaust. It is a dark period. It's a very dark period, but it's all the more important, therefore, to understand. My name is Maria Mitchell. I'm a professor of European history at Franklin and Marshall College, where I also chair the program in women's, gender, and sexuality studies. I focus in my scholarship on the immediate post-World War II period in Germany. In looking at that period, what I learned um, is that women played a signal role. That period of 1945 to 1949 is known as the hour of the woman. This question of feminism has new meaning now, right? And we're seeing more and more students eager to learn about it. busy lives, it's sometimes difficult to sustain community and maintain hobbies. And I have managed to do that these past several years through um, a terrific group of people. We're a group of professional staff and faculty who get together to practice our ukuleles. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we have a lot of fun. We're not all that good, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> we come to know our students very well, and they come to know us, and I think they learn from us inside the classroom, obviously, but also outside, right? In the ways that we negotiate the many challenges of modern life and juggle our multiple responsibilities. I hope we model for them how to be committed citizens on campus and in our community. The job of teaching does not feel like work to me, and I think that that's in large part because I learn so much from my students. I am constantly writing down their questions and my search for good answers to them. They keep me connected to that vital stage of life, right? And they enable me to see learning, profound learning. When I think about my academic work um, in women's gender and sexuality studies and my work with students, I am constantly thinking about my two daughters and about the kind of world I want them to grow up into, about the opportunities I want them to have, about the kinds of challenges I don't want them to have to face, um, but about the strength that I want to give them to face those challenges down if they need to.